Hi everybody, this is Miss Sarka. We are now on the very last step of our strawberry. Woohoo! Okay, so we've talked about brushes before and we've talked about which brush you would use if you wanted to do a large area versus a small area. So if I'm going to paint this strawberry, which brush do you think would be better? The bigger brush or the little teeny brush? What? Did you say the bigger brush? That is right. Oh, you are so smart. Okay, so I want to use the bigger brush because I can cover a larger area faster. If I was going to use that little teeny brush, can you imagine how long it might take me to paint this whole thing with this teeny tiny brush? Oh, I might miss my dinner. Okay, so you're going to get your red paint and you're gonna paint your strawberry all over. Now, I have a strawberry, another strawberry that I painted. So I'm gonna put this down and I am going to get my little teeny brush because I want to do the little seeds. If you look at this strawberry, I have a real strawberry here. I'm gonna paint these tiny little dots. So I'm going to use my little brush and get my strawberry and I am going to make some little seeds all over my strawberry. And then I'll show you what this looks like. Can you see how I've started putting some little teeny seeds on there? Okay. Then when I finish doing my seeds and I have to do them all over, if I look at my real strawberry, I can see the seeds go all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom and they go all around. So you're gonna do your seeds all around. Now, oh, the other thing I've noticed, look at this strawberry, what is this on top? It's a little piece of sort of green leaf area. And I was going to get some felt to put on the top of my strawberry and I couldn't find any felt. So then I had to dig around. Now, the good thing about being an artist is you're a creative thinker. If you don't have the thing that you need, you can try to find something else in your house that might work as well. So I dug through an old box and I found some regular green fabric. Now, this wasn't what I was originally going to use but I think this will work just fine. If you don't have any fabric, you could use green paper. If you don't have any green paper, guess what you could do? If you had some yellow and blue paint, or if you had green paint, what happens when you mix yellow and blue? Green. Then you could actually paint some paper green and then cut out your shape. So I did find some fabric and I cut out this little shape right here. Can you see that? I cut out two because I'm going to have two strawberries. And then when I'm done with all of my seeds, I'm going to use either fabric glue or if you have a parent or an adult to help you, you will use a hot glue gun. Actually, they might use it or they can help you hold it. So, we will put this on top, the very end, and then your strawberry will be finished. And once it's dry, we're going to put it into our vehicle and transport it somewhere. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.